Continuing from the previous video, today, we'll use the mathematical induction to prove the derivative problem shown on the screen. If you are new to this topic, I recommend watching the video in the link at the top right corner first. Mathematical induction is a method similar to knocking down all the dominoes, where the first domino must fall, and when kth domino falls, the next one, the k plus 1's domino, must fall immediately. To systematically solve problems and address solutions, I will explain using a 5-step approach. The step of assigning a name to a given problem is denoted as n, and the step of checking if the first term is true is denoted as 1. The k step representing when k term is true, then k plus 1 step for verifying if the next term p sub k plus 1 is true. And finally, the step of writing the conclusion is denoted as C. When using mathematical induction to prove derivative problems, there is a key property of derivatives that is needed. The k plus 1's derivative of f of x is equivalent to taking the kth derivative of f of x and then differentiating with respect to x once again. Let's start with the first step, n. Let p sub n be the nth derivative of x squared times e to the power of x, and express it as a given in the problem, bracket, x squared plus 2nx plus n times n minus 1, bracket, e to the power of x. And going forward, let's refer to the left side as L and right side as R. Now, let's move on to the next step, 1, and check if p sub 1 is true. The left side, p sub 1, is the first derivative of x squared times e to the power of x. So using the product rule, its derivative is 2x times e to the power of x plus x squared times e to the power of x. Factoring out the common factor e to the power of x, it becomes parenthesis 2x plus x squared times e to the power of x. To find the right side piece of 1, we substitute the n with 1 in the expression above, resulting in bracket x squared plus 2 times 1 times x times plus 1 times 1 minus 1 times e to the power of x. And simplifying this expression gives x squared plus 2x times e to the power of x. Rearranging the terms inside the parenthesis, it becomes 2x plus x squared times e to the power of x, which is ultimately equal to the left side L. Therefore, we have proven that the first term is true, that is, the first domino falls. Moving on to the next step, Assuming the kth domino falls, we now check if the k plus 1th domino falls immediately afterward. If p sub k is true, then p sub k represents the kth derivative of x squared e to the power of x given by bracket x squared plus 2kx plus k times k minus 1 times e to the power of x. Now, let's verify if p sub k plus 1 is also true. The left side p sub k plus 1 can be obtained by substituting k plus 1 for k in the left side of p sub k written in the L above. This expression represents the k plus 1th derivative of x squared e to the power of x, which, as explained earlier, can be expressed as differentiating the result of kth derivative of x squared e to the power of x with respect to x once more. At the k step, since we assume that p sub k is true, the expression for the k's derivative of x squared e to the power of x can be replaced with the formula in the yellow box above. Therefore, we have derivative of x squared plus 2kx plus k times k minus 1 times e to the power of x. Using the product rule, this simplifies to 2x plus 2k plus 0 times e to the power of x plus x squared plus 2kx plus k times k minus 1 times e to the power of x. Factoring out the common factor e to the power of x, we get e to the power of x times 2x plus 2k plus x squared plus 2kx plus k squared minus k. Simplifying the expression inside the parenthesis and rearranging, we have x squared plus 2x plus 2kx plus k squared plus k times e to the power of x. Further simplifying through factoring, the expression becomes x squared plus 2x times k plus 1 plus k times k plus 1 times e to the power of x. Now that we have found the left side piece of k plus 1, and let's look for the right side piece of k plus 1 to compare the two. To find the right side piece of k plus 1, 
We revisit the p sub k expression we wrote at the k step. Substituting k plus 1 for k in the right side of the formula inside the yellow box, we obtain the desired right side p sub k plus 1, which is x squared plus 2 times k plus 1 times x, plus k plus 1 times k plus 1 minus 1 times e to the power of x. This expression simplifies to x squared plus 2x times k plus 1, plus k times k plus 1, times e to the power of x. Do you see that the right side, p sub k plus 1, we just found matches the left side, p sub k plus 1, we derived earlier? By demonstrating that the left side and right side of the p sub k plus 1 are equal, we have proven that when the kth domino falls, the k plus 1th domino also falls. Now, the last step remaining is the c step, where we write the conclusion. Since p sub 1 is true, and p sub k plus 1 is true whenever p sub k is true, therefore, p sub n is true for all positive integers n. In this video, we use mathematical induction to prove a derivative problem. I plan to continue uploading videos solving proof problems using mathematical induction. So if you have any questions or opinions while watching the videos, please leave them in the comments. Sincere thanks to all of you who has watched it so far. Finally, I want to express that your likes and subscriptions means a lot to me as a novice YouTuber. Until next time, this has been your math guardian, Alex.